Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well. Viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Roddy! I'm Marty. Welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, everybody. We're on a time limit this episode because we got 30 minutes before the brownies have to come out of the yeah. oven. Yeah, yep. So we're on Turnabout Serenade. We're continuing the day two trial. La is about to come to the witness stand. Oh, yeah! I forgot what we were doing. <laughs> we're at like the 20 second mark and Marty's already peaked the microphone. This is great. Please show uh -huh. La to the witness stand. La would say nothing of the night of the murder. Not today, though. Today, we'll drag the story out of her no matter what it is. Uh-huh. Epic music. It is my distinct honor to welcome the Siren of the Bell into our courtroom. You are too kind. Ah, you can speak English? Yes. Yes, I can. Though I'm not very good, there is much I do not know. You speak so well. Have you spent time here before? Actually, I do not know how I came by my knowledge of your language, nor where I studied it. What does she mean? She doesn't know! I too fought to call her as a witness, but I did not. I had a reason, of course. What's that?! Lamewa suffers from amnesia. Amnesia? Lamewa is not my true name, yet I can remember nothing of the time before I was given it. Nothing of the time before I started singing on stage. Whoa, she's even more mysterious than I thought! As Lord had seen in La Miroir, she lives a good life. There are little difficulties for her, thanks to her success. Yet, I did not wish to subject her to unnecessary stress. Hmm, I see. I care surprisingly little about people's pasts. You have nothing to fear in this court, La Miroir. Thank you. Yet there is something I do not understand. I am being called a witness. What might I say? No one will tell me anything of what happened. Lamewa, let me be frank. I did not want to ask you up here to testify. Yet that young gentleman with the wide forehead over there was adamant that you stand. Oh, my. Congratulations, Apollo! You're the bad guy! Ah. Well, now that you're here, please give us your testimony. If nothing else, the sound of your voice is welcome. Tell us what you saw the night of the crime. What I saw. Narrated by Lamewa. As for what I saw, I saw nothing. That night I was invited to sing on stage, and this I did. I did not return backstage after the second set. Then, I was led by the police to Mr. Gavin's dressing room and told to wait there. That was where I learned something that... I had learned that something had happened, but I wasn't told the details. Hmm. I must say, you sound wonderful just testifying. I hope he was too distracted to hear what she was actually saying. There you have it. She saw nothing that night. Now we can only pray that the defense has the sense to admit defeat. We have all the proof in route. <laughs> and refrain from detaining her here longer than need be. Wow, you just got better, Apollo. Way to go! Grr! Very well, Mr. Justice. Keep it short and sweet. I thought it said short and sweat. <laughs> Keep it short and sweat like crazy. Sweat like crazy. Lamewa wouldn't talk to me about the night of the crime. She must know something, and I've got to find out what! Or she's like, oh, amnesia. Oh, gosh, I forgot. I'm just such a ditz. <laughs> <laughs> but she's not like the ditzy. She's not like um, April May. Or Eeny Miney. Eeny Miney wasn't as much of a ditz. She, that was her personality. I mean, I just don't know, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, um, we probably don't have to press her on seeing nothing. I saw nothing. But you must have seen something. Mr. Matus named you. M Mr. Latouse, how can I tell you what I don't know? Lamewa, he said you were a witness to it with his dying words. I do not know what he meant to say, but that night, that night I was invited to sing on stage. <laughs> it, it, it was a great concert. You heard me sing. Thank you. I was hoping to get an autograph later, actually. 
Of course. Mr. Justice, this is a cross-examination. You're out of line. If anyone deserves an autograph here, it's me. One on my gavel would be nice. Oh, Judge! W what's this? It's my autograph. Now keep the trial moving. W what? Oh, my grandchild will be so happy! <laughs> Apparently his grandson is a big fan. Let us continue, shall we? If you would, Lamua. Tell us what you did after your stellar performance. I did not return backstage. Ever. <laughs> Ever. You did not return backstage once? Where were you then? What were you doing? I was cleaning up on stage. There are many things I must do for a performance other than simply sing. That is very true. You're doing so <laughs> you're much. You're sweating up storm. Well, you're sweating, but you also have to like, and I mean, this was just singing, but you have to like make sure your voice is in check. You, you gotta teleport to... across the stage, apparently. No, you. Well, for her, she does. But you have to, you have to set your stuff backstage. Maybe like, and everyone has different routines of what they want. Mm -hmm. Like, I had a friend who, during one of his shows, like whenever he was off stage, he would have like his tea with lemon squeezed in it or whatever. <laughs> Ever, like set at a specific table so he could just run off drink it and then come back on and sing and then for me I like to have everything set ahead of time like props if I'm in a show yep or j if I'm singing for choir my water bottle in a specific spot like yeah and was Machi with you at the time unfortunately I do not know where he was so much for an alibi for Machi then I was led by the police to Mr. Gavin's <laughs> dressing room oh yeah <laughs> I don't even know. With Machi, correct? How was he then? He seemed as he always does. Though I believe he was shocked by the news of Mr. Latusa's death. Yet, he's not the type to show much emotion. Yes, he's given the police no end of headaches. He answers most questions with silence, and those glinting frames speak nothing. The questioning hasn't gotten very far. We sat there, waiting. It's hard when you can't speak, speak English. Speak English? Right. Like, if I was in a different country and they're like, what happened, and blah, 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 and it was like... No habla espanol. This is Nepal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even then, I'd just be like, I, I don't know what to say. And in that point, it's like, it's better to be silent than to say the wrong thing accidentally. Yep. And they just they are like, man, like, this Machi, he just won't stop saying the word tree. <laughs> what a weirdo. <laughs> Taco. Taco. <laughs> I wasn't told the details. How was the incident explained to you? I was told nothing in detail. Only that Mr. Latouse died. Of course, investigations require some security. But Mr. Latouse was my manager. I wanted to know more. I should have been told. Both Machi and I were beside ourselves with concern. Allow me to apologize, but please understand. Keeping you in the dark was as painful for me as it was for you. Yes, I understand. Think, what does it ring true about her testimony? It's hard to imagine Lamewa lying. She might not be lying, but she's hiding something. What wouldn't she tell me the night of the murder? Alright, so... I saw nothing. I mean... Yes. It might be that one. Yep. There was right. the gag order on the investigation. That's so. fine. I think, so think the, I think it's either I did not return backstage after the second set. Or I saw nothing. Or I saw nothing. Okay. I think I think she didn't uh, broach. Objection! Yep, good call. I'm sorry, Lamiwa, but I'm having trouble believing you. You remember this brooch, do you not? Why, that's Lamiwa's. She was wearing it for her psalm. Care to add that to the testimony, Prosecutor Gavin? Wh what? What? This brooch was found after the murder took place. At the very scene of the crime! What?! Lamiwa, <laughs> <laughs> how did your brooch get backstage if you did not go there yourself? And as Prosecutor Gavin has just told us, you had been wearing it during your performance that night. What is the meaning of this? Uh, Lamiwa, please explain. Lamiwa? Um, the chica. <laughs> she says English is quite difficult. Unga <laughs> chica. <laughs> that trick's not going to work here. Oh, so she stay mominada. Your forehead may be large, but you are a lawyer, truly. 
But you have missed one important fact. That's a, that's a lot of words for the, yeah. the sounds I made. <laughs> what now? In fact, at the time of the incident, I went backstage, but only for a moment. What? <laughs> Think back to the moment of the crime. You know whereof I speak. Is she really saying all that? What's she talking about, Apollo? Right when the incident occurred... Ah! Is she talking about that? Watch this room for me. I have to call for backup. R right Understood. Uh, you want me to make sure no one comes in, right? Mr. Latouse, can you hear me? Ugh, Not this, this again. <laughs> Stupid scene. <laughs> You're cold, don't worry. You're gonna be fine. Uh, help us out the way. Have you heard the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the, the Wise? Darth <laughs> Plagueis <laughs> the Wise? Yipes! Emma? What was that? Wh who's there? What's wrong? Emma, did you see anyone just now? Huh? No. I could have sworn I heard a door close. Man, she runs- f she books it then, if that's the case. Well, uh, I oh. was something something just a glance I, I I took a look in the room, just a glance, oh, I think. just a glance, mind you. So this is when your brooch dropped? <clears throat> that explains that. It does. There was no other time I could have dropped it. But that's ridiculous! You only looked it for an instant and you dropped your brooch?! Her forehead. She has raised a possibility. The only thing that can counter that is evidence. Hmm. So she looked in at the crime scene. Actually, I intended to go into the dressing room. I knew nothing of what had happened, of course. But the moment I opened the door, I heard a horrible voice. That was uh, clearly Latouse asking about Darth Plagueis the Wise. Yeah. <laughs> Air forehead shouting, who's there, no doubt. A horrible voice indeed. Ah, oh, that's rude. <laughs> I closed the door immediately. Well, that explains the brooch. Let's return to your testimony. That's too convenient. She's hiding something. Lemme what? You did look into the room though, right? Y yes Testify as to what you saw. Very well, though it was only the briefest of glimpses. When my performance was finished, I went backstage for just a moment. I saw nothing. The late Mr. Toos's body was behind a wall. Behind a wall? What is she talking about? Alright, so we got more to Wait. press. I went backstage for just a moment. What did you see in that brief glimpse? I had only opened the door slightly when I heard the horrible voice. And shut the door. I've always wondered, Air Forehead, does that voice of yours lack a volume knob? It's my cords of steel, man! Just back off! <laughs> I'm probably not loud enough to play Apollo. He's supposed to be, like, really loud. But you day. don't want to be, like, loud, Howard. Ah! <laughs> nice! I will, I will move loud, Howard, into your office <laughs> cubicle if you don't give me the information I need. <laughs> Apparently he's one of the po most popular Dover characters, and he has appeared in a whopping two comic strips. That's it? And one, the second comic strip was hit, like, Dog Burt lampshading why people thought he was so good when he was one-dimensional. It was wow. fantastic. His body was behind a wall. A wall? Was there a wall there? Uh, I'm trying to think of a word that would work for wall. D uh... Dora. Dora is what in English? <laughs> That's a Spanish word. <laughs> a division or partition, I believe. It was a large dressing room divided into two halves. Oh, I get- okay. N now that I look at the room, that makes more sense. Yes. Yeah. And the murder took place in the s inside half. I guess that partition might have hidden the body. Alright, and the, then we- the have, police. Alright. And we also have the bracelet active now. Me, 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 me. Oh, great. She looks... Oh, we can actually see her mouth move behind the veil. That's kind of cool. Nothing's different. Except for maybe, like... Maybe, like, her neck. Dang, she's... She... Let's be weird or anything. She's very she, beautiful. She's aged very well, considering she's 40. Yeah, I forgot she was 40. Okay, do you uh, think stop. it's there? It's not right. that one. 
It's probably that one because she moved slightly. Where do you want to look? Let's look at um her mouth. Her let's eye. look down at her hands. I'm not sure if we can. Her hands are down too low. Oh, that's a shame. Maybe look at uh, this is hard. Yeah, this this can be a tough mechanic, but I think it's a good mechanic though. Maybe look at her eyebrows. Just keep looking at her eyebrows. <laughs> she gets like a stink face or something. Or maybe they move slightly. Nope. How about stop? Oh, you don't think it's this one? It. Well. It's probably during the I saw nothing phase, and I haven't okay. seen anything happen. This one's a bit subtle. Is she not moving her mouth during no, that? she's barely moving it. She moves it less is it, so. Is it because of that, then? Could that be considered? Oh, that's a good idea. Let's, However, try, let's try that. Okay, the reason I say it, though, is she, she's, got the, she's got the thing in front of her face. Yes. Yeah, perceive. Oh, well, that moved it down. Okay. Oh, it was her neck. The late Mr. Latusa's body, you say? Yes. You know something more about Mr. Latusa's death than you are saying. What? I could see you trying not to remember, but the effort made you swallow. You can't fool my eyes. It is true. It was so terrible after all. Why did Mr. Latus have to be shot? One moment, Lamawa. Yes. What was that you just said? Why did Mr. Latus have to be shot? Yes. She was hiding something. I knew it. Lamawa, I'm afraid that you haven't realized it yet, but your words just now contradict your testimony. Uh, how could that be? Take this. Lamawa contradicted her own testimony, and I have the evidence to prove it. <laughs> I heard and saw nothing. I saw nothing. This is great. I mean, she doesn't know that... What evidence do we present, though, for that? It, it might be the autopsy report. She didn't know that Cause information. Cause to a gunshot. Cause to a gunshot. Cause to a gunshot. Someone hit the gun with another gun, and it killed the gun. That's... that's... that in a nutshell. If I do not misunderstand the meaning of contradiction... It is you who contradict, Mr. Justice. Huh? Your evidence is meaningless. Ah! Roll the evidence! <laughs> Gotta think this over. What did she say again? Why did Mr. Latouse have to be shot? That's right! That totally contradicts her testimony! Yeah. Take this! I will say the one thing. Oh. What? Uh, no, it's not the lyric sheet. I doubt it. <laughs> I didn't see a gunshot. That's <laughs> not on the lyrics. It's hard to see a gunshot. You hear Is it just shot. the revolver? Uh, no, it's not. Oh. Is it her brooch for, like, the second no. time? No. Okay. Um, there's the mixer. It's not that. It's not the key Gavin's keyring. Latouse's autopsy report. The crime photo? Has she not seen the cri crime photo? Well, she said she saw the briefest of glimpses. Maybe you show off her, the scene photo? Uh, the diagram? If I do nope. not misunderstand. Here's the one thing I will say about her. Like, mm -hmm. I know a lot of people who I've met that English is their second language or third or whatever. They always are the greatest people at speaking the language. They're very precise. Because they're very they precise say. with what they say. And even, like, that's the one thing that I've learned about, like, speaking other languages is, like, it's all about communication. It's not about how precise you are yeah. with how you say something. It's more getting the emotions and getting your ideas across. And saying it and the right say, way. I mean, but but even then, like, you can have a total... There's a reason why, and this sounds weird, like, cavemen could could yeah. communicate even though they couldn't speak. Because they could use their, like, their body language mm -hmm. and they could use any like, means necessary. Like, saying you jerk, depending on how you say it, it has different meanings, so you could be like, you jerk. Or, or, or like, ah, you, oh, you jerk. Yeah, yeah, that kind of... Playful punch. Yeah, yeah. 
Anyhow, it's like the one piece of evidence you haven't looked at. Nobody's supposed to know anything about the crime scene. Oh, whatever. Tell me, Lamawa, how did you know he had been shot? Uh, well, I... Immediately following the incident, a gag order was placed on the scene. This is the document proving that. In your testimony, you told the court, no one told me anything about the incident. Uh... Furthermore, you testified that you had seen nothing. Yet you knew that Mr. Latus had been shot. How could you have known? No! York. York. <laughs> York. That's a very strange sound. York. You're such an elegant lady to make. <laughs> Lemua, you aren't hiding something from this court, I hope. That sweet song of hers was sounding just a little too sweet. Uh, now I remember. Please, allow me to add to my testimony. Of course. All we want to know is the truth. She looks kind of pale, huh? She saw something. I know it. Even the victim said so. I saw bullet holes in the wall and knew Mr. Latus had been shot. That's false. Because the bullet holes were not through that partition wall. They right. were on the other side of the wall. Only a glimpse, yet you knew they were bullet holes? Yes. I recognized them immediately. I had seen bullet holes before, you know. You have traveled the world as a scener. You must have snuck in places far more dangerous than snuck our court. Snuck in places? S snuck? <laughs> <laughs> Play it, Stan. <laughs> Forgive me for sounding like Frollo. These gypsy vermin snuck in all over the city. <laughs> you must have sun in places far more dangerous than our country. I go wherever my voice is needed. Those places are many these days. That's really cool! I hope I get to travel like Lamewa someday. I plan on recording my next album overseas. Their studios have a different sound, you know? That's true. Mm. Maybe I should go on a Chords of Steel tour, too! <laughs> yeah, nobody wants to hear you yelling objection for like five minutes. Objection! Objection! It's like a metal album. Oh, objection! Objection! <laughs> we are- I'm apologizing and we are the Chords of Steel! <laughs> It, no, it wouldn't be cords of steel, it would be quartz of steel. <laughs> that's where they, that's their venue. Well, we just show off how it looks in the room. The diagram. The diagram, yeah. yeah. Bullet hole, bullet hole. Objection! Lemua, they call you the Siren of the Ballad. But lies are hardly becoming of such a creature. A put-down worthy of our prosecutor, Mr. Justice. Such put-downs are hardly becoming of you, Apollo. Stop polishing your forehead and start polishing your character, ya. Yeah. Come on, can't I be cool for once? <laughs> Observe the diagram. Lamawa, you looked in from the door for just a moment, correct? Yes, that, that is so. There were bullet holes in the room, yes. But they were in the wall, the door is on. Uh. You see, assuming you merely glanced into the room, you couldn't have seen those bullet holes. Yark! York. <laughs> now I'm like, now I want to eat York peppermint patties. New York. <laughs> New York? That's gonna be the name of the video. New York! <laughs> <laughs> Lamewa? Yes. I'm afraid the defense has raised a good point. It appears you have been holding back something. And I must tell you? <laughs> it's, she has been holding back. It was only Wa's fault! Well, he's he's holding me back! back. <laughs> he's shelling me back. No, I was saying he's jealous. And then he's you jelling me back. Hey, Master he's jelly. Over <laughs> Obi-Wan, can you gel my hair back? Yes, Anakin. For like the 50th time. <laughs> I must tell you what it is that I saw. Yes. The happenings in this trial are being recorded, and I'm certain it will be on the news in Borginia. You understand your reputation is at stake. It falls to you to avoid tarnishing it. Personally speaking, I still believe that cross-examining her will yield us absolutely nothing. Guess what? But she knew how Mr. Latus died! And he named her as a witness! You must have seen something, Lamawa! Very well. Lamawa, please continue your testimony. Very well. I shall. She actually gets a new one instead of just being like, Oh, this is my eighth amendment to my original testimony. What I saw, too. I was on my way from the stage to the backstage exit. There was something like a little window there. That's how I saw it. 
It doesn't open more than a crack! You're just... You're burying yourself in the quicksand, my dear. There were two shots. I couldn't do anything to stop it. But it wasn't Machi. It was a grown person. I know it was. So you did witness the crime. And the killer was... A grown person, you say? Ah! This is my first time hearing this, I assure you. Nice play, Air Forehead. Very well, Air... Er, uh, uh, Mr. Justice, you may begin your cross-examination. Great going, Apollo! You were right about Lemewa! What's wrong? You don't look too happy. This whole thing smells fishy. That's what's wrong. Objection! Sometime I want to see Apollo Justice, like, when he's doing really well, or maybe when he's doing poorly, let out his ponytail, so he has, like, the really long He doesn't long have hair. a ponytail. Yes, he does! No, he doesn't! His hair on the back! No, he the doesn't! <laughs> okay, when we- when it pans back to him, we're- I'm gonna show you what I thought I saw then. I was on my way from the stage to the backstage exit. Alright, there's an easy way to do that. <laughs> There was a small window there, I heard shots, couldn't do anything to stop it. It Wait. wasn't Machi, it was a grown person. Let's do this. You can't ask for a better testimony than that! I'm not so sure it's all that simple, Trucy. Oh, I thought- that's, I thought that that was his hair! That's the shadow behind his shirt, Marty. I thought that was his hair! <laughs> you, you thought he was like an Indian tribe? No, I thought he had like a, um... <laughs> What's his face from Liberty's Kids ponytail? James? James! I was gonna say Jeremy, but it's not Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Jeremy. I'm on, Jeremy. I was on Liberty's Kids. <laughs> I'm from 1776. No, he just has a normal haircut and then the spikes he... in the front. Okay, because when he, like, slams his fists, I thought there was, like, hair that you could see. No! <laughs> now, this just completely ruins what I thought he looked like. Aww. Oh, he looks terrible now. <laughs> now he just has, like, really weird short hair. I thought he had, like, a ponytail. That's not short hair. Short when my hair gets spike. that long in the back, people are like, you need to cut it. <laughs> in the back? Uh, they go, they go pretty looks... far down below his ears. Yeah, so does your hair. It's yeah, same and that's what I'm saying. It's not long. Oh, okay, well, whatever. Anyhow, there's <sighs> a critical flaw in the testimony, and I have to point it out, even if it isn't good for our case. Well, Apollo, you'll have to do that next time, because the brownies need to come out of the oven. Are you psychic? We have 46 seconds. That's Marty, it. I'm looking at the audacity of, like, time right now. Right, but, like, <laughs> Anyhow, still. thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time with more Cross-Examining Lamoua. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless. We're gonna eat some brownies.